Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Root Double Before Crime After Days Extended Edition. In the last episode, we found an upside down woman. Just dangling from the ceiling for some odd reason. And now she injected herself with the AD. Yeah, for now. It was now a lot calmer and quieter, showing no signs of the hysterical woman that had been yelling at them just a few minutes ago. It seems she finally understood the situation she was in. <laughs> yeah, that would have been important, you know, for me to know, or for everyone to know, <laughs> when we first met you. <laughs> The group promptly answered Anna's question. Mm-hmm. I don't know about civilian. But yes. Yuri gave this timid answer, then followed up with a question of her own. Yeah, why are you here? Yuri politely referred to Enna as Professor. Enna appeared to be used to being called that as she answered Yuri's question without the slightest hint of awkwardness. You were summoned here? Why were you summoned here? That's the real question. I have amnesia, lady. <laughs> really? <laughs> and I glared at Watase. Okay, we're gonna do this before. Okay. Uh, Anna Subakiyama, type achiever. Okay. I know. Okay, so I know for a fact. That as a rescue worker, you have to be pretty calm, and you uh, have to do, like for healthcare, you like EMT work. Like you can't just be biased and be like, "Oh, this guy's shot. This guy is a drug dealer. Do all the drugs. Yeah, you know, let's just let him, you know, die or something. You know, that that." You can't just take justice into your own hands. That's why there's a court system. So, yes, we have to, for rescue workers, we have to save everyone. Even though they might not be very likable, but yes, we have, we have to, we have to be nice. Quote unquote nice. We just have to save them. Yes. これは笠崎渡瀬。一応この隊の隊長だ。そうだ。隊長さんなの一応ってなんだか頼りなさそうだけど。わお、いや、アベミジャ。そう言わないでくれよ。とにかくよろしくな、先生。オッケー。で、い
There was a security gate at the end of the passageway, but a swipe of the security card quickly took care of it. Yay, beep 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 beep. Boop beep. Whoa, bright light. Oh my gosh, it's blinding. And with that, the group of five entered Area 3. Wait, I thought we were in Area 3. Oh, okay. 9, 16, 20, 30, 9, 36. What, what, wait, hold on. The timing's very fast here. That was three minutes? What the? I, I'm pretty sure that's longer than three minutes to help her get down. Air 3 Inner Ring B2. This area was considerably different from all the other floors. The walls were made of unfaced concrete and the ceiling steel frame and cables were completely exposed. But Hasi checked his Prokeon to find that the display read 1381 MSV. Woo! Yes. Nice. Uh, yes, that's true, and uh, yes, that's true, but we have the AD. AD Really? How do you how can you tell? At the moment Jun said that. Huh? The group heard a voice coming from somewhere. <gasps> I'm gonna make a guess here. I'm pretty sure. I have a big feeling that the guy in there that's talking is the guy in the card we saw. The security card. Yeah! As he thought, he heard the voice coming from the room right in front of him. The door was labeled Surveillance Room. A voice filled with surprise echoed in reply to Atase's unconscious shouts. Wait, unconscious shout? What? Oh, okay, I was wrong. That is, uh, <laughs> that is our, uh, our colleagues. Well, he just said captain, so I'm pretty sure that <laughs> those are the people you're with. I don't know, I can't see you. Someone was talking to him from the other side of the door. However, Watase didn't recognize the speaker's voice. Who is it? Otase timidly opened the door. Standing on the other side was a man in a lab coat. What do you mean I'm back? And I was right. Look, I was right. I was right. This... That's... That's again the security card. Kazami and Junzai simultaneously whined as soon as they heard the man's voice. Who? Oh man. <laughs> Who are you? The man named Ukita said this with bewilderment. Yeah. Last week? Wow, this guy's very unlucky. Uh, you mean this? This meltdown accident? I'm sorry. A bitter look appeared on Ukita's face as he said that. I don't really know the circumstances, but anyone would be bitter over having luck this bad two weeks in a row. Well, I mean, it got exponentially worse for him. I mean, uh, in that car accident, first of all, and now a uh, freaking nuclear meltdown. Uh huh. And if Kazami and Jun had saved him once before, then it made sense that he knew them all. Yeah, what happened? I, don't, I have amnesia. Oh, people don't know I have amnesia. I was? Why? 
Tase froze in confusion at the angry look that suddenly appeared in the man's face. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure my head exploded though. But we'll go with that. Ukita wasn't the only one to react to Watase's explanation. Oh, did we not tell the teacher? Are you kidding me? Are you are you kidding me, Anna? Really? Are you serious? Are you, you're serious now that that you you're a teacher and you have no idea that amnesia is a real thing. Woo! I am uh, very concerned about um how she got her her teaching degree. Kazami came to Watasi's defense at the perfect time. Woo, thanks, Kazami. Yukita spent a long moment looking doubtfully at Watase, but eventually came to a decision and spoke. I mean, you can probably tell by my facial expression, but like, like if I'm telling the truth or not. It usually, it's easy to like tell when when people are like are really confused. I can see that. Eiji Ukira? The name sounded familiar to Otase. He thought his memories were coming back for a moment. But that wasn't the case. It was the security card. For he'd seen the words Eiji Ukira after he'd woken up. It was a name that had been written on one of the cards he found earlier. Hey. I I I didn't know. Ukita swiped the card out of Watase's hands. Well, yeah, two level four cards. Who's the who's the other person on there? Like the picture. Okay. Kita thought for a bit before he began to talk. Uh-huh. And I just realized you have very thick eyebrows. Okay, so you're a researcher. Can you explain what the case N stands for? Uh-huh. Wait, hold on. Ho 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 hold on a second. Hold on. I just realized that he's in the surveillance room, right? So I'm pretty sure he saw everything that was happening in those cameras. And where I was and what happened to me. Well, see, that's what happens when panic sets in. I can I can see that happening because he's he's uh <laughs> he was in a panic, he was in a frenzy, he was endangering himself and probably other people when when I knew like the situation better than you know what's happening. Well, of course, you had no choice because <laughs> you flew into a frenzy. 
長ってば融通の利かないとこあるからな。あ、oh. あ。そうだったのか。それはすまないことをした。おそらくすぐ戻ってくるつもりだったんだろうが。But、then my head exploded. いや、もういいんだ。ところで、そちらの女性たちは Well, we will get right to that, Mr. Ukira, in the next episode, everybody. So, if you guys enjoyed Root Double Before Crime after today's extended edition, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye. Oh. Oh. No. Okay. Now he just runs right deep into her. Oh, my goodness.